Hi everyone, welcome back to Atlantic Fleet. Here we are with the Kriegsmarine in week 1.5, February 1942. The Americans have joined the war and we now need to hit 700,000 tons of merchant shipping sunk every month to succeed. Uh, we are currently hitting 135,000. That's slowly coming up uh, from where it was. And we have, of course, um, got our, the fleet what we have. There we go. Uh, we've got the Nice Now, Heavy Cruiser, Prince Eugen, Light Cruiser, Carl True in the Middle Atlantic. And down here we have uh, the Bismarck with the Konigsberg and four destroyers trying to hit as many of these shipping lanes as possible. So the darker ones, the three there, these ones here, these two, these are the ones where we need to be sitting on. And we don't have anyone sitting on there. So what I might do, we've got slight damage. Uh, I'm going to move... U28 over there just, just to try and harry the uh, Canadian and North American coastline and see what we can do. Uh, we had a ship up there um, bombed by one of our Luftwaffe buddies and uh, so far I think we're doing okay. And here we go, first action in the Azor Islands or around the Azor Islands. Um, it's sunny, we've got a small wolf pack of three U-boats. U65, U66 and U67 all off the production line at the same time it would seem um, and they've come across um, a convoy so it threw me there because the both destroyers are called the Gurkha <laughs> which is like oh okay um, the uh, the convoy has a uh, light cruiser Neptune as the lead escort with two destroyers Gurkha and Gurkha T2 tanker and uh, large freighters and liberty freighters. Nice. Okay, here we are then. That must be Neptune, is it? No, it's the Gurkha. There's Neptune. And is that Gurkha behind her? It is. It is. Right, okay. So, um, U65 is the one we have currently tasked with, which is fine. U66 is behind us and U67 is over that side. So, if we have a pop at the Gurkha and the large freighter, we'll get U66 to have a pop at the freighter and the tanker, and U67 can have a go at the Neptune and Gurkha as well. Good. Okie Koki. So... Five... Oh, well, there's a tanker there. Maybe we should go for the tanker. 8,000. Ooh, it's right on the edge. Anyway, let's get... Um, no movement. We'll just move forward. This freighter will target with torpedo solution at 317.8. 317.8. One seven point eight. Wow, how slow are they going? I have a funny feeling that might go behind. I'm going to pop one there. I'm going to have a shot at this uh, T2 tanker. 332.9. They're obviously going incredibly slow. I'll have a shot at this freighter here, 354.6. Five, there we go. Keep one in reserve. But three torpedoes away. Now, here we got U66. Um, we'll have a pop at this. Mm. Oh, we were actually going to have a shot at Gurkha, weren't we? Oh, God, what did I... My brain. Just woken up, and this is what happens. Um, we'll hold your torpedoes, because the destroyers, no doubt, will come heading our way. So we'll use that U-boat to defend the first one. Right, U-67, we're going to target Neptune. Uh, 3552. is there. We're going to pop one there and one there. Uh, one in front. Uh, maybe we should have a pop for Neptune. Uh, Neptune with Gurkha. She's out of range. What about this one? We could probably just about get a shot off on her. 3.5.4 There we go. Fire. 
Right, to Winnie's in the water. Here we go. Torpedo hits. One large freighter gone. Nothing more. Good, okay. Now we'll turn slight to starboard, speed up. I'll we'll target the Gurkha, which we should have done the first time. Now she's going to be all sorts of manoeuvring. Seven, uh, sorry, ten point one is what they're predicting, but it's going to probably be more than that. Let's go. She's going to be speeding up, so we'll, we'll do a random shot there. Never know. Just may get her. Now U six six hasn't fired a torpedo yet, so we'll turn her to starboard. And we'll have a go at this MS Large Freighter. Although I think there's a torpedo already heading. There is a torpedo already heading for her. Um, there's three torpedoes heading for the Neptune, which is looking good. Right, we're going to actually hold fire and see what, when the smoke clears, what's left. Right, U66. Move in. Wait for your reloads and you should be good. Oh, they may get Neptune. Ah. TT tank has gone. Neptune got two hits. Gurkha got a hit. What else got a hit? I hit another one. Let's have a look at the damage. Goku got hit, the TT tanker went, and Neptune. She's very. Yeah, two hits on Neptune. She's sinking by the stern. Look at that. Lovely. Meanwhile, back with U65. Gurkha's coming around, so we'll face up. And we'll wait for a reload. U66 hasn't actually fired yet, but there's a merchantman over there, so we'll continue to move forward. Let's see if we can catch that. And uh, U67. Any torpedoes? No. Oh, she may get hit. I thought that was a torpedo right where you were. Did it run out of steam, perhaps? Maybe it did. Or was it this one here? No, either way, they seem to be fine. Right, U65. Um, continue to turn to starboard. Torpedoes reloaded. Gurkha is up front. Uh, torpedo solution to one. There. Fire. So if she comes, turns into us, then she's going to run into that torpedo, which will be mighty bad news for her. Right, we'll move U66 up. Well, that one's out of range. That one's out of range. Brilliant. U67 has got a reload. We might as well fire that towards. Neptune, uh, 350. 0.3, 0.4, there we go. Fire. See if we can get Neptune down. Although she's turning away from that. You might be sending into that torpedo. Ooh. Just long. Oh, hello. Collision course. Gurkha's sinking. She did run into that torpedo. Okay, good. Good stuff. Um, camera angle was all over the place, wasn't it? And I'm, I'm not helping much. Right, yep. Yeah, good, that was a good hit. 
So we've got Neptune coming in there. Where's the other? Where's the other Gurkha? Both Gurkhas dead. Both Gurkhas are dead. Okay, good. So it's just the Neptune and two large freighters now. So if we get the Neptune, we can uh, surface attack, which will be awesome. All right, back to U65. So Neptune's over there. Continue to move forward. I don't think you're going to have a torpedo. No, you're not. Move forward. I bet everyone's still out of range, aren't they? Yep. How's that torpedo? Is that coming in? Oh, that torpedo is going to be hitting that wreck. It's going to be wide. Rubbish. Oh, hello. Neptune's trying her best to get hit by it because she's avoiding the freighter coming in, but no, she's not going to turn enough. Darn. No reloads. So doesn't fire the shot. No reloads. Oh, that squeaked by. Torpedo reloaded. Nice. Right, we have a chance then. So, Neptune, struggling. Uh, 5,800 meters away. Solution of 346.8. But yay. Fire. I'm hoping because of the rear damage, her rudder may be damaged and she may not be... Uh, moving as quickly as she has done in the past. U66, you anywhere near being able to get a shot off? Are you still out of range? Still out, out of range? Still out of range. Rubbish. Torpedo reloaded. Nice. Right. Try and get Neptune in a cross attack. 3447. Is she going to put one there? I know that's against what that's saying, but the other one's going long, so if this one goes that, hopefully that'll close up no matter which way she turns to avoid, she'll get hit. Or she could go straight, of course, and then that would probably scupper my plan. This one's closing in, no torpedoes yet, but she'll have a reload soon. I think Neptune's in trouble. Maybe not from that one. From that one. Nice. No reload yet. You must be close enough by now. Yes, you are. You can have a shot at this one. Right, 348.1. Pop two torpedoes there. Finally, U66 managed to have a shot at something. No reloads. Neptune's in a bit of trouble now. She's actually getting in the way of the uh, the merchant shipping trying to make a run for it. Torpedo reloaded. Sorry, Neptune. We've got to follow this up. 354.9. Really? Actually, I'm going to hold on to that torpedo. Give her a bit of time. I think she might be sinking anyway, so... Wait for those two torpedoes. See how they get on. Torpedo reloaded. Right, again, we'll probably put it back there. Yeah. 
Neptune's sailing straight. Oh, come on. Speed up a little bit. Oh, we might get her next time. Gotta hold on to that torpedo. Move in. Oh, I think that actually slowed down. Bang. And, oh, wasn't enough for the, Oh, that they have missed. Got a look at Neptune. Got a terrible camera angle. But yeah, Neptune's had another torpedo strike against her. Can only be a man of time now. Now we can move in. We've got a torpedo on this boat, ready to go. Neptune is hanging hanging in there, isn't she? She's doing well. She's brave brave old ship that one. Yeah, propulsion's damaged. This torpedo's gonna get her. She's making smoke as well, but too late. A turret just exploded. She can't be have much left of her. Torpedo reloaded. I'm so sorry, Neptune. Got to do it. I'm holding, saving torpedoes now. Because this should finish Neptune off. And, uh... Yeah, there goes Neptune. Fought valiantly. Now, of course, we can surface and use the deck guns. Nice. Right, high explosives. Target the ship. Making smoke, apparently. Brilliant. Okay. We'll go for... back there. Brilliant. Straight through the light boat. Light boat. Sorry. That's what happens when you try and say raft and boat at the same time. Target this one over here. Liberty Freighter. Elevation at 12.5. Light winds, but we'll adjust for it anyway. Bam! Tagged them. Ten point seven. I know we can just leave now and um, let the AI finish it off, but it's sometimes nice just to give the crews a bit of action and a bit of experience as well. Don't want to go flying into them. We don't want a ramming incident. We've seen that before. <laughs> don't want that. No, 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 no. Right in the funnel. There you go. Happy days. Uh, 11.2, let's drop the gun elevation down again then. Right into one of the anti-aircraft gunning positions. 10.6, 10 10.6, 10 fire! slow down a bit. <laughs> we are in danger of being rammed here. Uh, 10.4. Lower the gun down then. Another life raft destroyed. And that's starting to smoke a little bit as well. Good, she's making avoiding action. That makes our job a lot easier. Uh, Nine point one, dropping down. We need to slow these, slow these boats down. Ten 
Nine seven. Boom. There you go. Point blank range now. Eight point three. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, 9.4 <laughs> Boom. We might need to get um, you switching your gun to target this one because um, it's going to be a while before that one goes down I think but for the moment so let's turn to starboard 7-7. Yes, okay, we'll switch up now. Because the, the next one is also targeting this ship. Oh, is she going to go? Is she going to go? No, just a long wait. Oh, we could... Mm, yeah, okay. Turn to port. Start focusing on what's going to be our next target. With the positioning of the boat. Three point four. Oh, large freight is gone. Okay, we can concentrate on the Liberty then. Liberty's holding its own. Taking a bit of punishment. Out of port, can we get the gun round there? Yes, we can. Brilliant. Uh, 9.8. Gun elevation up. Boom. And she's gone as well. Lovely. Well, there we go. U65, U66, and U67 successfully cleared that convoy. Uh, they sunk the light cruiser Neptune, the two Gurkha destroyers. Um, for a combined warship tonnage of 13,400, a T2 tanker for 22,500 tons, a large, two large freighters, uh, and a Liberty freighter for a combined merchant tonnage of 53,300 tons. Nice, that was pretty good. So what I just need to check now: how are they doing for torpedoes? Six, ten, sixteen. Okay. Uh, where's the nearest resupply? Is Sargasso Sea. Sargasso Sea. Sargasso Sea. Right. So what I'll do, we'll start moving. No, hang on. Who are you? Oh, it was you guys up there. I thought they're the Azores there. Oh no, they're the Azores. Okay, fine. Oh, they're the Canaries. No, I could be wrong there. I'm just embarrassing myself. Uh, so we'll move those down there, and what I'll do, I'll move Koningsberg and her her boys up there to try and so Bismarck, Koningsberg, and their boys just to kind of cover that gap in the uh, the busy zone. And as we move into the second week of February 1942, in the North Atlantic, Nisenau, Prince Eugen, Karlsruhe, and the destroyer escort, including the legendary Paul Jacoby, have come across uh, a convoy. Escorted by two destroyers, the decoy and the paladin, there's troop transport, C2 and C3 freighters, and a Liberty freighter. The Brits have the initiative. The paladin opens fire. And hits one of our destroyers, no doubt the poor Jacoby. Because it's always the poor, poor Paul Jacoby. Right. Somebody's already making smoke. Brilliant. There you go, the decoy is making smoke. Really, with the wind, the way the wind's blowing, he's not doing any good to anyone. That's hilarious. Okay, so we need to start turning to port to try and cut off their, uh, or cross their T. So we'll do that. Turn to port. The mighty nice now. Uh, let's, where's the paladin? Is that the paladin there? It is. Elevation, switch to high explosives. Elevation of 11. Let's start from here. 
and there we go 10.8 11 wind is quite strong and you can see which way it's going with the smoke so we'll put the shots about there nice first strike is ours heavy cruiser Prince Eugen hard to port please and you might as well target the Paladin as well elevation 13.3 13.4 again we'll target with the wind in mind and we're short Carl Shrew out of port target the Paladin 22.2 we'll give it a little bit more 22.7 just for the wind Didn't quite adjust for the wind, I don't think. Right, flank speed and turn in. Again, we'll target the Paladin. 21.4. 21.6. Ooh, the wind. The wind is very strong. Target Paladin 21.8. I'll give it a few more. Let's go in the 22s. Oh, 21.9. There you go. 22. There we go. Perfect. Just for the wind and fire. Ooh, very close, very close. Now, the legend of Paul Jacoby. Probably blast him out of the waters right now. Above 30, okay, maybe you should start targeting, everything's about, slightly out of range for Paul Jacoby, so they can wait for a turn. Decoy has, I think, stopped making smoke and uh, Paladin has started making smoke. Continue our port turn. Right, last time we need to sort of reduce the angle. So if we come down to say 10-2, just for the wind. Yeah, Paladin's gone. Nice, the Bismarck, sorry, the nose now makes the first kill. <laughs> bit excited there, got a bit excited, got my battleships mixed up, oh, how embarrassing. Oh no, look, decoy is still making smoke. Which is interesting. Um, okay, well, while you're making smoke, we'll start picking off some of these freighters then. 15.2 until you decide to engage and uh, fight us like a man. Says the warship bearing down on the unarmed merchant. I, I get the irony, don't worry. C3 Freighter, we'll target this one as well. Elevation of 20. Nope, it's not going to be quite enough. I think we'll um, just try and... I think we're going to hold the guns of these destroyers for the moment and try and get them closer. Or we could depth charge by, by mistake. Just in case. There was any enemy submarines there. I've got to make sure they're not going to be having a good shot at the uh, heavy, heavier ships. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, we're just going to let these guys move in a little. They've got smaller guns, so against this kind of strong wind, there's no point firing uh, and wasting shots from this far when they're under no threats. Oh, decoy might be engaging. She might not be as well. No, she's making smoke again. Okay, we'll target the troop ship. 12 point, uh, 12.4. Ooh, doesn't quite have the legs. Uh, 
14.7. Now, last time we were long and we fired at 15.3, so 14.7, okay. Bring that to 14.5, just for the wind. No, still too much. Still too much. Let's get you flank speed. Let's get you in there. In and about the freighters, causing maximum annoyance. Uh, you were short last time with 20.4. They reckon 20.2 now. Even though we have closed in a little bit, I am going to go against their orders and go for 21.4. Range was good. Wind was out. Let's not do that again. Let's move these destroyers in nice and close and hopefully this will encourage the decoy to stop hiding in the smoke and do their job and protect the convoy. And it's exactly what it's done. So they attack one of our destroyers and land hits straight away. Is everyone else okay? Nice now. Right, we'll target decoy. Uh, 11 elevation. Ooh, only one shell landed, but that was not a bad salvo fired there. Um. Should we target the decoy as well? 15.6. We'll go 1600. Oh, we've got the rear turrets firing as well. Oh, that's a bit long. I should have trusted them a little bit more, but you know what I'm like? I don't trust them at all. Uh, elevation 24.21.4, I beg your pardon. Okay, I can believe that actually, and we'll do try and get a bit more wind deflection. Oh, we're still on. We'll start these doing slight maneuvers. Our decoy's going running away again, back into the uh, thick black smoke. But. With Nisenhow, we've got roughly her range, haven't we, with 11.2. Let's drop that down to, say, 11. Oh, a bit long. A bit long. Needs to reduce it more. Prince Eugen, last time you were, you were a bit long, weren't you? Yeah. With 16. So if we drop that, say, down to 14.8... Glancing blow, glancing blow. Now, 18.7, that's better. We've been long twice now, haven't we? I'm going to go 19.2 because we're closing in as well, so I don't want to go to um, drop the guns down too much. Wise decision. Wise decision. Decoy continues to run. So we were long last time, uh, 11, let's drop that down to 10-5. Another glancing blow. Prince Eugen. We were not too far away actually. Let's uh, drop that down say to 14-3. Yes, good hits. I didn't get a message, so I think decoy's still alive. No, decoy's dead. Right, just the merchant ships then. Happy days. 19-2, they got hit last time, so 18-3. Let's go 
Maybe not quite a good adjustment for the winds, but good enough. Let's get one lousy hit. Move these destroyers closer. Not too fussed about them getting some kills or experience because I might as well save their ammo. They're more there for subs to stop any sub attacks against our big ships. Why would we not use the big ships when we got them? Let's target the troop transport. Elevation 13.2. You go 13.3. Adjust for the wind. Just long. Just long. Prince Eugen, you can target this Liberty Freighter here. Elevation of 15. Ooh, guns in the rear, not in that. Oh, we're really long, really long on that one. Elevation 18.1, 18.3, or we'll go again. One shell which dropped into the uh, target area there, which is good. The other two went whizzing over, as you could see. We could just re uh, get out of here now and um, unsink the merchants, but we might have a couple of pops at them, because it's, it's good fun, isn't it? We don't often get a chance to fire the battleship's gun, so it is fun when, when you do get the opportunity. Right, we were long last time. Um, 13, okay. That seems about right, actually. I'm happy with what they're telling me. Only got one hit in there, though. Wasn't quite right. 13.3. Okay, that seems a lot better. We were... Well, it seems a little short, actually. Because we were long last time, but that seems... Too much. Good hits that time. Have to make sure we don't run our two cruisers into each other. Um, 17.2. Last time we were long with 18.3. Let's go 18.4 then. Or oh, still long. Okay. 12.1 they reckon. I'm going to go 12.4. Hits. Big hits from the knives now. Um, and against the MS Liberty Freighter, 13 is the what were we last time we were long. Okay, not worth much though. So we get 12.8. There we go. There we go, getting some good hits now. Right, we better turn the Carl Schrute. Not to cause any troop transport is sunk. Um, now on this one, 16.4 they reckon. We're kind of right there, aren't we? So 16.6 even. 16.7. Oh, glancing blow. Target the Liberty Freighter, elevation of 10, just the wind. Oh, we blew the bow off. Is that going to survive that? Yeah, it looks like it will. 12.8 um, they reckon, okay, still roughly in the right ballpark. Through the smoke. More hits on the bow. Uh, 16.3. Oh, 
just a glancing blow again. Right, nice now. Elevation 10.3. Oh, okay, they reckon they're getting away from us. I don't think they are, but... That might be a little bit too close, but... Oh, wow. Closed a lot. In that one turn, it would seem... 12.2. Let's drop that down by half then. 12.1. Prince Eugen gets a good hit in. Is she gone? Time will tell. But they're quite tough, those Liberty ships, aren't they? They're quite tough. So last time we were long, quite considerably. So 15.6. Okay, that sounds okay. 15.6. Lands between the two ships. Beautiful, beautiful. Checking out how those destroyers are getting on. Right, I think have we had enough fun? One more, one more shot, and then if we haven't sunk them, we'll uh, we'll clear and move out. I think. Uh, eight point four. We got eight nine. That Liberty Freighter's gone. I'll switch to this one. Elevation of eleven point seven. Go eleven six. Still targeting the old one, perhaps, perhaps by chance. Who knows? Uh, Carl Shrew, last time chance to try and hit this one, my friend. One glancing blow, and I think we'll call that a day. And there we do. We sunk merchants and withdrew. So, Nisenhaus group. Um, we got a bit of light damage to destroyer Z18, Hans Ludman. Uh, Paul Jacoby, Z5, was already damaged before we came into this. So, yeah, I think it was Paladin got some shots off on uh, Z18. However, we sunk the destroyer decoy for 1375, the Paladin for 1610, for a combined warship tonnage of 2900. And 85 tons and a troop transport a c2 and a c3 freighter plus a liberty freighter for a combined merchant tonnage of 40,200 meanwhile in the united kingdom axis bombers attack the naval base at liverpool portsmouth causing medium damage current repairs delayed by three turns wonderful right these guys we are going to move over weren't they to get some uh, resupply there and there we'll do in grand. It's just sink what we can. In the West North Atlantic, Allied convoy attack by submarines. 57,160 tons of merchant shipping has been sunk. Which is great. Oh, uh, hello. And the Royal Navy have responded. In the North Atlantic, where the Nisnaz group has just obliterated that convoy. Um, two submarines have been sent to try and sink nice now the royal navy have the initiative the ss tarpon and the uh tetriarch is uh the two submarines sent to uh sinker torpedoes away already from oh god from the tarpon no action from the tetriarch right Where are those torpedoes? Where are those torpedoes? I've got a funny feeling they might have been for the Prince Eugen. Uh, I think they were for the Prince Eugen. Right, okay. Nice now. We know there's... Okay, there's one in front of us and there's one over there. Right. Hard to starboard. Can we even see the, the one in front of us? There, apparently. Submerged contact. Let's do a shot of about 9, maybe 8.5. No idea where she was. Hopefully that'll scare her down. Right, Prince Eugen. 
Torpedoes incoming. Hard to starboard. Can we go any more harder to starboard? No, we can't. Maximum over. Oh, we might get away with that, you know. We might get away with that. Karlsruhe, you go... Yeah, no, you, you just follow them. Actually, I haven't just put the Karlsruhe in, in jeopardy from those torpedoes, have I? Mm, or maybe. Right. Uh, torpedo... Sorry, uh, contact bearing 248.0. Periscope depth. 248.0. There's two five. Ah, it's over there, look. Fact, fortunately, they've seemed to have dropped some sort of green dye in the water, which is highlighting it for us. Uh, brilliant. If we can slow down and turn inside, can we do that? Yeah, we're going to turn inside the uh, Prince Eugen and hopefully um, go and investigate that torpedo. Uh, investigate that um, submarine. There's one over there as well, so we'll move you in here. Now, I'm actually going to start shelling them because I don't want them to torpedo us. So if we get them to dive down, we've got a chance of um, depth charging them safely. The alternative argument to that is, of course, that you can uh, Hit them with torpedoes when they're in periscope depth, but I'd rather safety first. A bit long. In fact, if we swing you, we might be able to get a torpedo off. We've opened ourselves up at us. Oh, Paul Jacoby as well. Oh god. Why do I do this to them? Um I don't know where which way she's facing, so I'm gonna pop one straight down there. I'm going to pop one on each end. Paul Jacoby is in trouble, though. Potentially in trouble. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Karlsruhe, we need to go uh, harder port. No action from Tarpon. No action from Tetriarch. Thank goodness for that. Here come my torpedoes. Oh, I can see how Tetriarch is now. Tetriarch is dead. Tetriarch is dead. Paul Jacoby got her. Noise. Noise. Right. You can turn to port now. So Tetriarch is being killed. Uh, you can still slightly to starboard. And to port. Hopefully it should be okay. Good stuff. Right. You are going to continue to turn inside. Brilliant. And these guys. Um, yeah, okay. You've got to try and go around the long way now. Okay. Uh, a little bit of time has passed and now we are getting these destroyers to the target location. We're still a little bit far out. But as you can see the submerged contact is over there. It's 4,500 so we might have some long range torpedo shots at this one because um, why not? Again we'll do a, a three fan fire. This, this one's just been delayed coming between the cruiser and the battleship. Uh, so we'll continue to go to port. Head towards... Oh, there's Paul Jacoby there. So she's just about level head with the Paul Jacoby, of which we talked about. Here we go, moving forward. So the contact's about here. There we go, we just picked her up. She's there, actually. She's further over than I thought. No action from the top. Here comes my torpedoes. Oh, she might get away with that, actually. 
We might just miss. Nice now, we're getting out of trouble. Prince Eugen. Getting out of trouble, letting the destroyers do their job, what they're trained to do. Carl Shrew as well. Moving the big ships away. Uh, we'll continue to move on. If need be, we can always apply some more torpedoes that way. Let's just not wait. Let's, let's, let's just fire one. We know which way direction she's going now. Let's put, pop one there just in case the others do miss. There's a, a safety net torpedo there. Uh, these can come a little bit to starboard because we know the contact's over here now. Right there. Yeah, okay. Almost on target. No action from the tarpon. Here come my torpedoes. Missed. Oh, I thought it might miss. The second one one's coming in. And we're going to have to wait. Right, I think we're okay with that torpedo, so we're going to hold up there. I don't want to go too far because we'll end up coming to a stern and we'll be in risk of uh, getting a stern torpedo fired at us. So make sure we don't run into Jacoby. These two just drawers are charging in. No action. Boom. Got her. Tarpon is sunk. Nice! Nice bit of action there. Uh, two submarines sunk for 1,600 tonnes apiece. No further damage to our group. Brilliant. 32, sorry, 3,200 warship tonnage sunk. Nice. Now it's our turn. U-29, U-30 and U-37 have come across. Uh, the light cruiser Sydney and the destroyer Inconstant um, in the Canary Isles water. So... That's the destroyer. Oh, there's the cruiser over there. Um, U-30 is in a good position for the Sydney, so we'll target the Inconstant here. Target the Inconstant. There we go. Uh, 3.4. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a spread. We can always go and get some reloads because she may well decide to. Um, Maneuver heavily on us, so hopefully that that spread of torpedo should cover most eventualities. Unless she turns away from us sharply, then then that's just life, isn't it? But what can you do? Meanwhile, U thirty turns sight to starboard, set up for an attack on the Sydney. Eleven point nine. So this uh, group of ships is um, travelling quite quickly. Again, we'll do a full spread because it's a cruiser as well. I'm going to have a look at what type of cruiser she is. She like, um, she's probably a county class, is she, or something like that? Sydney's not a county, city class, town class, I don't know. Let's have a look. What is she? She's a Leander class. Uh, okay. turning. They've detected us. Here come our torpedoes. Missed. Oh no. Hit. We did hit. Two hit. Inconstant is gone. Brilliant. Sorry about the camera work. I'll um, I'll fire myself in the morning. That was woeful. Uh, I was just too busy trying to spin around to see if the Sydney's going to get hit, but I guess those torpedoes haven't actually made it there yet. Okay. So I was... Sorry. Sorry, everyone. My bad. Um, I guess we just um, move in, everyone. And we hope our torpedoes ring. Oh, yes, that's looking good. I think we've got at least three hits. Coming in, we're looking at the wrong one again. Oh, all four torpedoes hit! Sydney's erupted. 
But of course we were looking at the two missed torpedoes, which is awesome. It's always good when that does that. So, our little wolf pack has sunk the light cruiser Sydney for 9,700 tonnes. The destroyer Inconstant for 1,370 tonnes. And the cameraman has been fired. Uh, warship tonnage, 11,070 to add to the kitty. Nice. Meanwhile, in the United Kingdom, submarines attacked by enemy aircraft. U-104 has received medium damage. Devils. But we have another red bar on the tonnage war. We are slowly pushing them back. And we're up to 140,000 tonnes. Almost 141,000 tonnes. So that's gone up over 5,000 tonnes in the last... What are we? Where are we? One and a half weeks. So yes, we're getting there. We're building it up slowly. Building it up slowly. Going well. So, uh, our stats haven't really changed much. Uh, naval vessel sunk 21 for 142,000 tons. The uh, Allied, I say we should don't say Allied now because obviously America has joined the war. Naval vessel sunk 126 for 726,730 tons. Merchant ship sunk 861 for 4.2 million tons. Wow. It's amazing when you think about it. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this Atlantic Fleet playthrough with the Kriegsmarine. It's really starting to heat up now, and uh, hopefully we'll start bumping into some uh, American warships. That will certainly be a challenge. If the North Carolina comes out to play, Ooh, I'm not looking forward to that, but it will be a challenge. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. If you like it, want to see some more, hit that subscribe, tickle the bell so you don't miss the next video. And uh, as always, hit that share, hit that thumbs up, and share on social media, and I'll see you next time.